Now you've seen how to let friends know about your app and the information in it. There are, there's another way in which you can share information. The share button is all over Facebook and people are used to it. As the pop-up says, you can send this information to friends, send the link to friends, or post it on your profile with a message. So the share button gives me this dialogue and I can say, I think this is interesting, or anything at all that I want. And this is generated by my code and I can then share it and it'll be posted to my profile. But I can also share it through email. If I type, I think this is interesting. Same message. But now I want to send it as an email message. So I now get something up here that lets me type in the name of a friend or an email address. So I can start typing in the name of a friend and I will see a list of my Facebook friends up here. I can add another address someone at any URL.com so I can compose I can send my message and compose an email message that goes to one or more of my Facebook friends and to one or more of the other people that I know and then I can send the message so this is a way in which I can share my comment on a specific Facebook link and that brings up another issue that we have to think about. I can report this pic and clicking here brings up a dialogue and I can identify what the problem that I think is with the click. And I can identify what I think the problem is with the pic. It could be none, it could be incorrect information, violates terms of service. You, This is my dialogue. You can put anything you want in here. And when I click OK, it will be sent to either to the database or via email, however I want to process it. But I have got the complaint about a specific PIC. And what I'm doing is at the moment that I receive this, I know the PIC ID and I know the user ID of the person who submitted this. So I can follow up on this. And it's really important with any kind of application of this sort where you are collecting data from the public that you must have your terms of service usually up here in the about section you must remind people not to violate your terms of service not to violate the Facebook terms of service and you need this reporting mechanism so if someone does see something they think is inappropriate with one click of the button actually it's two one to bring up the dialogue and another one to identify the problem and then a third one to actually send it so it's three mouse clicks not really an onerous reporting mechanism. And you've got enough information to then start deciding what to do. It may be obvious what the issue is. It may not be obvious. You may want to remove the pick temporarily. It's up to you and it depends what the data you're dealing with is. But unless you are controlling everyone who is entering data into your app, in other words, if it's only being entered through a database that you control and only people with a special ID can enter data and it's probably not even entered through Facebook then unless you have that kind of control you need a mechanism for people to identify problems and be your eyes and ears and it shows that you are being proactive in this way so here are all of these little interactive features that you can easily add to your app let's go and look at the code